Hi everyone. Hi everyone. How what's are you guys up? doing? What's up? What's up? You know we're back. Yes. And you know what we're back for. Listen, I think this was the perfect time to come back. Yes, it definitely is the perfect time. And we're here to review Zack Snyder's. Zack Snyder's. Zack Snyder's. I thought you were going to say just leave by that sign. Yeah, yeah, you, well, right. you, know, you know how it is. Once you say <laughs> Zack Snyder, you know who that is basically and what Absolutely. we're going to be reviewing. This review is fully spoilers. Absolutely. So All if right, you have so not seen it, I mean, if you haven't seen it by now, I know you don't have four hours to do, but need to make the time. Go. Okay, make yeah. the time. This is going to be a hundred percent spoiler free, and we're going to be um, telling you our good geek and our bad geek about this movie. That's right. All right, so stay with us. Let's go. Let's get it. All right. All right, so let's talk about it real quick. What is it about, as if we oh don't my already God. know? Oh, well, you already know that uh, Zack Snyder is behind this, and as usual, the main actors for this movie is Henry Cavill, mm -hmm. and we have uh, Ezra Miller, which and, is a Flash. Yes, and Gal Gadot, and Jason obviously Moma. Ben Affleck. Jason Moma is Aquaman, and of course, you know that uh, Ray Porter is Darkseid, mm -hmm. and um, <laughs> I think Amy Adams is in it as well. And just a whole bunch a of other people. A whole bunch of but people it was that cool. We to see you know, that whatever. the original cast came back on exactly Zack Snyder's vision of, um, the, of Justice League mm -hmm. and uh, of course there was you know the, the theatrical release of Justice League that Joss Whedon did was trash I literally farted on it and I was <laughs> so upset with this fucking movie it was dumb as <laughs> shit didn't make any sense I mean, tell how you really feel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this, of course, this movie came around. Well, the, um, the 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 fans of Zack Snyder's all pulled together and said, you know, we, they want demanded it. "We want Listen, this. We want this. We need this movie. You need to put this you cut out here. You need to put your vision so that we can understand what." it is about and even the actors were saying the same thing that this needs to happen exactly so between the actors and the fans we all made it happen and mm -hmm. here we are four years later because i think it came out in 17 2017 yeah 2017. four years later mm -hmm. we have now zack snyder's cut of just league so just we are league. about to talk about it ah man Let's so go. the good geek that the good thing that i have about this movie was that it was a totally different 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 movie altogether yes. it was totally different from the the just we didn't cut so um you know just the storyline of of who dark side was the the, the boxes mm -hmm. you know the whole story behind it cyborg's backstory so that is my first good geek i can give the movie of course um we already know that we have the justice league um team you have wonder woman cyborg um aquaman batman and the Flash, okay. you know, you have the Wonder Woman, which I loved her fight scene, was awesome. Cyborg, Cyborg, he had a better story plot, which was revolved around him and his father mm -hmm. and his mother, mm -hmm. and how he happened to become Cyborg. Yeah, I felt like you got to know him. You know what I mean? So that was a good plot as well. Another thing that I liked was the fact that you actually saw Flash's ability um, instead yes. of because I think in just being used mostly see him like slow running motion. slow mm -hmm. motion so this point you kind of see him like moving real fast and all mm -hmm. that stuff you know just with the the, the, the part where he uh, he saved Iris West um, you know from the car accident which was you know pretty much awesome so it was an awesome scene you know the color tone for the theatric the, the theatrical cut that just Whedon did was awful it was <laughs> too dark you know what I mean? There or was too no, red. Yeah, it was too <laughs> dark. This color grading for this movie was definitely what brought up the the, the, the ambience of the movie. Mm -hmm. You know, even though it it had that dark side of it. Uh, Get it? Dark side. Dark side of it. <laughs> it actually brought know, out the, the the quality of the movie, which was perfectly done. The fight scenes were good. Fight scenes were on point, especially with the Themyscira um, scene. That, I love that scene. Mm -hmm. At the Justice League um, team members, they were actually becoming a team. They were yes. fighting as a team, and that was mostly important. So that's my good geek. 
How about your googie? I feel like you took a lot of what I was going to say. But, but, I, but I know you had more than I, me anyway. I was about to say, I'll try to rehash <laughs> it or try to think of something else right now because I think you took a lot of what I was going to say. So the first thing I liked about it was something you already said was the fillers, right? They filled out a lot more of the stories, especially of Cyborg, of Wonder Woman, um, even a little bit of Aquaman. No, I can say of Aquaman too, not even a little bit of Aquaman, but of Aquaman too. I felt like they did not need to fill out Batman. I'm glad they did not. Okay, so all those fillers um, made it a lot more robust of like seeing the Justice League for what they really are. Not the fact that, you know, they, Batman saw them on the email said, oh, they're super people, We, I need them, that's it. Mm -hmm. And then he was like, oh, here you go. Oh, that end fight scene. Oh. Especially in comparison to the first one. I mean, I feel like the first one you might as well not have did it. The second one was so cohesive and like you said, the color tone was awesome. I think one of the things that um, I'm gonna piggyback off of you but saying in a different way, when you saw the Flash, when you saw the Flash run back in time in order to get to Cyborg with the mother box, to get them to be separated, you could see him actually like reforming the ground. Like yeah. I didn't see it at first. I had to re look at it and see like, what am I looking at? That visual effect was yes. perfect. And I was like, I, I, yeah. I, like I said, when I first saw it, like, we first saw it, I was like, wait, what? So we had to put it around. I was like, oh wow, it's, it's re actually reforming. Mm -hmm. That was so cool that to watch. Awesome. Yeah. But like I said, for the whole fight scene was awesome, especially when one of them cut his head off. Okay, it was like a one, two, three punch. That was dope. Seeing Superman in the black suit? I mean, who could not want to see that? And they did it. A lot of people were thinking that Joss should have done it. He didn't. Snyder listened to the fans, gave him the black suit of Superman, and that's what we wanted to see as well. I mean, that, that thing was epic. All right, so like one of the things I did like was the fact that Stephen Wolf, I don't think that they gave him more of a characterization because I feel like, I'm sorry, backstory because I feel like you don't know a lot about him. You just know that at some point he pissed off Darkseid and he wants to get in his back good graces. Yeah. However, with that being said, it's a lot more than you got with the first cut. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Then number two about him was the fact that he didn't look like he was crazy. Because mm -hmm. I felt like he was talking to the mother boxes as if he was talking to inanimate objects. And now they gave him like a person to talk to, like an interface. Mm -hmm. I thought that was actually pretty cool. Yeah. And that also brought him out more. Yeah. And that is is it for my good well, That's her geeks. good geek. So it's so funny because when I, when I went to go into seeing this movie, I was like, I'm not going to like it. I really thought I wasn't gonna like it. And I actually did. However, it is not a perfect movie, okay? And here is like my interpretation of what could have been better or what I just didn't like. See if you can guess this one. Yes. I think she's talking about that slow motion one. scene. A scene? One scene? Yeah, the scenes is... Okay, thank you. Exactly. Okay, I definitely sat through Harry Potter's. I definitely th sat through Lord of the Rings, the theatrical and the cinema cuts. Okay, if you're going to give me a good movie, I'm going to sit through it. However, that slow-mo was so annoying oh, after oh like the 10,000 times when Aquaman is walking on the pier. And literally, I think that was like maybe a two or three minute scene of nothing but slow-mo and like this dull ass song. And I'm like... I loved, and I should say this also, I loved that they gave more for Cyborg and especially about the gay Cyborg when he wasn't a Cyborg. I loved that. I just think that some of his lines were a lot more pitch perfect in the original cut. Mm -hmm. I thought they, 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 they had gravitas a little bit more mm -hmm. than some of the lines that were, he was given that I felt that were just basic in this straight cut. Point. Yeah, it, it, not only just straight to the point, I just felt like it was it didn't hold anything. It was very basic and very like standard mm -hmm. where I felt like there was nuance in some of the things that he was saying mm -hmm. and I felt like it hit better in the first one. First, let me get it out there, kind of, because I know that the uh, the fans of Zack Snyder is gonna be tearing my ass up in the comments. But to be frank with you, I'm 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 a big DC fan, basically, and I, I just didn't, 
I did overall I didn't like um, the whole concept of um, of Justice League. I think it was too early for it. I don't want to put together Marvel movies with DCU. Please don't get it twisted. The first thing that I didn't like, and she said it, uh, my wife said it, is that the slow motion just wasn't, it wasn't cutting it. It was just too much slow motion. It still bothers me that Batman was recruiting people. I know a lot of people like Cyborg, and, and don't get me wrong, Cyborg's part, Ezra Miller did well in it. Um, Cyborg story, backstory was perfect. However, I just didn't like his costume. I didn't like the idea that the box actually made him as a cyborg. I still don't understand why there is no Green Lantern. And I'm just gonna leave it at that. Oh, another thing, I didn't like Martian Manhunter was introduced into the movie. I think it was, it felt rushed to me. I think it should have been done in a much more different manner. I agree. Or, you know, something that, that puts you in a, in a presence that there's gonna be higher danger coming from you know from from certain galaxies and that concludes my bad geek can i can i sneak one in? yeah you can you can what, what's up i could not stand stephen wolf's armor when you oh, said it when you, when you talked about yes when you talked about cyborg i was like mm. I, I was like oh i should have said that i could not stand stephen wolf's armor especially because and shots of my friend because actually they put me onto this that like when he he had like a porcupine armor. First of all, I didn't like it. I like, thought it was like armor is always moving. And yeah, stuff. and I mm. thought that, that was like trying to be like a, a cubic zirconia trying to be a diamond. But my my point is also with that is the fact that if he had like a porcupine armor, he has so many interactions with enemies that it didn't hurt them. It didn't you you didn't even see them react from touching that armor. What's your ratings for this? Because overall, I think it was a good movie overall. Um, Zack Snyder came out, did his thing, showed them, showed Warner Brothers that listen, I'm still the dude, you know what I mean? Yeah. And and even though I shitted on that first um, pullout of of Justice League as well as uh, Batman vs. I definitely cocked over and shitted on that movie overall. For seeing this movie, it actually changed my perspective of his vision, and um, I definitely do appreciate it. So overall, uh, over, over, overall, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Um, that's my that's my uh, that's my rating. What about you? I think a three point seven five. Like I just can't give it a four, but it definitely is not a even a three point five. Like I feel like it could be in between. So that's why I'm saying three point seven five. Okay. Well. But um, it definitely. Definitely the it, mark, it, it kicked and especially ass. more than the original. Yeah, it kicked ass. And I can't tell you that listen, much. I am a fan. Like I actually hope that this trend of making more longer movies mm -hmm. hits, because mm -hmm. you saw people lined up for Endgame. You saw people lined up to watch on their couches and probably straight through. Mm -hmm. Okay, this movie. Let's do that. Let's yeah. actually give the characterization, the development, the backstory that these characters need, okay, in order to have a great movie. Thank you again for joining us Thank on you. our first after the pandemic. I hope you guys keeping it real yep. and just keeping it safe as usual. Let us know what you think about this. Let us know what you think about the movie. Like, share, and comment down below. Check us out on Instagram. That's right, Geek by Heart. Yeah. And come back, and we were going to be doing King Kong. Kong. Yeah, Kong versus Godzilla. There versus we Kong. go. Yeah. So, his back. We will see you. We see you next time.